Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh yeah <laughs> hot mic hey there we go yeah that's what's up there he is that's that man yeah he's on there yeah okay he can hear me okay because yeah blaze you are on there okay sounds good sounds good what's up <laughs> good it's good to be a hot dog trading with us. hot yes yes finally we get the we get the meat in the middle yes. here yeah hot that's dog trading has finally <laughs> become a real thing <laughs> it is finally weeks and weeks we've been talking about hot dog trading and it's finally yeah. happening man yeah no first of all i just want to say thank you that like, you guys have been amazing for reaching out and and like all this stuff right for me because like competing on youtube it just seems like a comp competition right when you're talking about the same things but you guys reaching out it just it just seems like a family community so thank you guys very much for the support really appreciate that no problem man i mean for us for us, it was just like uh, seeing another community mm -hmm. that we have a lot of a lot in common in. And yep. there's room for everybody uh, yeah, to is. exist in this game, you know. Yeah. And just like watching your channel, I I feel a, a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on one second. Yep. My video's not working. Hold on one second. Yeah, lost lost me a little bit there. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, we'll try it again. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, I noticed like, and, and I was talking about the talking to the crowd about this a little bit earlier. Is that a lot of the other YouTubers out there, and like, not a knock on any of them, you know, but yeah. the guys who made their videos, you know, Trey, Keenan, uh, Mo Money, you know, Matt, yeah. they a lot of them they made a lot of their audience through one-off videos, you know, video, yeah. and people would watch their videos every night. And then they slowly started getting into the live game. Whereas mm -hmm. what I see with our communities is we start from the live lives, yeah, <laughs> and, and, and working our way out. But yeah. because of that, when we sit down in the morning, and like when I saw you this morning, or you know, anytime I watch you, you sit down and you're looking for certain people. Yeah. You know, you're like, okay, where's my queen at? You know, where's <laughs> the queen? Uh, I don't really know too much about that topic, but blah 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 knows blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. A lot of these guys, a lot of the YouTubers out there, and, and they're doing great, they're successful and all, but I feel bad that they're missing that, mm. you know? Yep. Like the fact that we have these, this community, and I don't know if you know, do you notice when people aren't there? I, I do, I do. I send people emails like, Diamond, where have you been? I haven't seen you for a week. It's yeah, crazy. right? <laughs> yeah. Like I start to miss people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, it's honestly really amazing. I, it's all about the community for me, right? Again, like you can do this on your own. I, I can do this on my own. But again, like just having that community there and doing this stuff for seven hours a day, eight hours a day, doing like uh, during the day, doing crypto at night. It's amazing to just have people on that you, when the market is doing rubbish or you're losing, you can just laugh with, right? So the community right. has been amazing. You guys have been very supportive. Uh, my people have been very supportive as well. So it's been honestly very amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is cool. Like we always say, we keep the same positivity level. We keep the same attitude on red days and green days. Yep. It's the only way to get through it, yep. you know? I mean, we're dealing with money and it's so stressful. <laughs> people are dealing with yep. money and it's like, out of anything to deal with in, in society, you know, money just hangs over us. And it, if you take it too seriously, and if you, oh, yeah. you know, it's so focused on the dollars and cents, oh, you're gonna drive yourself crazy, you know? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, I agree. So it's, it's nice to have communities like ours where, like when I watch you guys, it's just like, yeah, we could talk about stocks all day, but we could also <laughs> just chill and be casual. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been trading? uh let's say 10 years now it's been a, it's been a while <laughs> really are you serious it's been a while, yeah. <laughs> oh my god you look like a young man i can't I know, even yeah. <laughs> i can't even like picture you I know. trading for yeah, 10 started, years now yeah no i started in high school okay high wow school. yeah <laughs> what did you uh what did you start trading on like what app i mean they didn't have apps back then probably the, right uh, they had uh, the, what is it called so i live in canada so we okay. have td it's called td you guys have the td and mary trade or quest trade or whatever it's called yeah. so in canada we have just have td and okay that's what i've been using ever since so you guys have Robinhood and Webull and all these platforms. We have very limited, uh, <laughs> right? Very limited. So we have TD and then we have, uh, what is it called? Quite a few. Just uh, yeah, not as popular as you guys do. Right. So the fees are, you know, what's what's like really beneficial for you guys. You guys can have like free commission trades. Me, like every trade I do is like ten dollars every ah. trade. 
So like the days where you do like, I don't know, like 30 trades a day, like you're paying a lot of fees, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> but there's no um, day trading rule, right? Oh, no day trading rules. No. Yeah, see, that's, <laughs> that's what I want right there. That's the number one thing that kills me every time is the day trading rule. Like I, I, there's no way to escape that. Yeah, yeah. Unless, Unless you have a cash account. Exactly. That's tough though, right? Because you have less than 25k like, and you're trying to day trade in like, it's it's difficult, honestly. I don't know how you guys do it. I would have a rough time like trying to do stuff like that. So I have every app basically. So I have, yeah. you know, it, I'll just move from app to app, Weeble to Robinhood to public to, you know, whatever, Moomoo, Moo, whatever's next. Like yeah, but, they okay. can't make enough apps. Uh, yeah. Do you remember what your first uh, investment was? Uh, okay, don't remember the name, but it was an energy, energy, uh, energy, energy company play. I okay. put five hundred dollars in it, never got a dollar back, completely oh. gone. <laughs> First trade syndrome, right? Yep. No, yeah, no. It was, so, uh, what, no, what made you keep going? Honestly, I don't know. I just saw the possibilities, though, right? Even though like you're losing, I've I've been to like I've gone from don't want to say a number, but gone to zero twice. Like, and I just just like just. <laughs> It hasn't been a, it hasn't been a fun it hasn't always been a fun journey, right? But it's just right? like just just seeing the possibilities, just seeing that actually you can as much as I'm losing, if I just focus on learning and actually like growing like a skill set, I right. can actually succeed, right? Because the issue with me when I started was okay, go on YouTube and find some random YouTube channel that's pumping this specific stuff and just jump all in, right? Again, these guys are pumping this stuff when it's sitting at all time highs, but I don't know that. I just I'm just I just want to be a part of the team, right? Right. Or you know these emails you get in the mail where they're like oh go buy this stuff it's gonna go up 1200 percent but yeah. it's just some small random company on the pink sheet or whatever you jump all in all your money all in and guess what zero right so i just yeah no that's been the journey so i just knew that i had to if i wanted to succeed i just had to find like i needed to be able to recharge or do my own research right if i'm going on youtube and someone's telling me, but okay, go buy AMC. Well, I need to find a reason why, like I'm buying AMC because when AMC is crashing, I can always go back to that reason, right? I bought AMC because of the squeeze. I can hold on to that, right? At least I have a reason now. It's um because like yeah, no, like because again, if without that reason, you're basically buying at the top, and then you're panic selling at the bottom, right? Over and over and over, right. and you kind of just slowly dying, yeah. So. <laughs> So it's, it's, yeah, it's been quite the journey, a lot of like educational, like channels like yours and mine, like just a lot of educational stuff, a lot of books, just uh, a lot of videos. And yeah, so. yeah, same here. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I'm a new trader. I'm really new. I started in February, uh, was February 11th, I think was my first actual stock trade. I was doing a little okay. bit of crypto before that. Okay. Um, okay. But this, it's the same with you. I didn't know anything about stocks. I just got pumped up by the communities out there and, you know, not, not to knock them, but you know, wall street bets, um, they were pumping up the weed stocks at the time in early February. I was a little bit of a 420, uh, participant myself. So I was like, Hey, perfect. Right. I, I know this product, you know what I'm saying? They say, buy what you know. Okay. So, I, you know, I tell this story all the time, $300. I bought $100 in ACB, $100 in Tilray, $100 in Sundial. Uh, within 48 hours, I lost 60% of the the <laughs> um, investment. And that's why I always ask people, like, what made you keep going? You know, and, and for me, it was the same thing. It was the, the I could see the potential there yep, because exactly. I lost more than 50% of my money in, in one day. Well, I could potentially gain 50% of my money in one day if I play it smart. Uh, so I definitely had to go back to the drawing board. And after reading more into Reddit and the communities and then going into subreddits, and then I realized I had made a mistake in just going all in and, you know, kind of getting pumped up by that. So part of what made me want to go on the air is to re-educate people. You know, when people are getting knowledge, take them before they make that, that mistake that I made, tell them, uh, hey, okay, before you do that, like, I don't want to give you financial advice or tell you what to do with your money, but... Maybe it would be a good idea to wait for a second, take a yep. breath, do a little bit more research, and then you'll poss possibly won't lose any money, you know? So I, yeah, I like okay. to play defense with other people's money, you know? Yeah. Oh, no, absolutely. Especially when you're streaming on YouTube, you always have to play defense because a lot of the people that are coming to you are completely new. So right. you, have to, you always have to, like, first things first, protect your money, right? It's better for you not to lose anything than to, uh, like, protecting your money is better than actually making anything, right? So first right. of all, like, try not to lose so yeah defense like you said so yeah defense wins <laughs> championships you know when i when i realized that instead of 
every time trying to go out there and I was just trying to hit the home run every time. You know, yep. every every stock I invested in, if I didn't see, you know, a hundred percent gains on it, I was disappointed. <laughs> and so what happened was I kept picking up bags. You know, I would buy a stock yep. and, and almost every stock I would buy, I would end up negative thirty dollars, negative thirty dollars, negative thirty dollars. Um, which told me I was buying it. <laughs> just at, I was at, buying it uh, just point. Yeah, at the very, very top, and it was dipping down. If only I could buy it here and get those gains. So yeah. I really had to pump the brakes on myself and calm down. I I, I was very emotional in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm a little bit smarter of a trader, but I am known as a... I do FOMO into a lot FOMO? of plays. Okay. Yeah. FOMO is hard, website. It's hard. Like, it's hard to resist. It doesn't matter how long you've been trading for. Really? When you see stuff <laughs> running, like, 100%, it's like, oh, man, I can be a part of this. Yeah. yeah so it's... Yeah. And I never learn because I'll see something running up and I know that it's not going to run past, you know, 30 or 40%. But mm -hmm. then I'll remember the times yep. where, <laughs> oh, remember when Newegg went up 155%? Or oh, remember yep. when, you know, uh, Orphazyme went up 700%? So mm -hmm. I, I I always have this PTSD of like these yep. gains that I could be missing out on. But yep. it just always ends up by being a bag. Yep. Do you do no, uh, do you do long like long term uh, holding or do you do a lot of day trading or do you just do a mix of everything? Um, I do a mix of everything. Uh, so that's again, <laughs> the times where uh, you know like we like a day trade turns into an investment, which is something you don't want. But I've had quite a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. I, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not no, a bag. It's a long term yeah. investment. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, no, one of those. Yeah, no, but yeah, no, I, I like to do long term plays as well as trading. But for me, um, recently, it's mostly just been day trading. Just be, I don't know, for some reason, I'm like, from time to time, I get scared of like the market crashing or things like that. So I like to be in on the same day, out on the same day, especially with like being Canadian and I don't have those restrictions, right? So I like, I like day trades more than anything. When I like, when I look for long term position, I like to do options. I okay. just do options instead on long-term positions, just buy some leaps or whatever, and then hold them and see what happens. Yeah, so at least with options, I know exactly what my risk is, right? So, yeah. okay. No, for me, mostly it's day trading, day trading, day trading. And yeah, yeah, okay. Stuff, yeah, yeah, I'm the same way. I have a real tough time holding long-term. Uh, yeah. Everybody knows that about me. I have a real yeah. tough... The only thing I hold long-term right now is um, AMC. Okay. And, yep. and some crypto, <laughs> you know, okay. but it, yeah. everything else, I'm just constantly trading, trading. I see a little green in my account and I sell it. You know, I just yeah. gotta lock okay. that profit okay. in. Okay. You know, okay. this, it's, yep. it's, 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 um, it's my income. You know, this is how okay. I make, yeah. okay. you know, put food okay. on the table, so. Okay, yeah, me too. That's where you yeah, me too. That's where we have to be like very disciplined, right? You can be a, uh, can be that, yeah, so. No, yeah. but like it, th like I suggest a strategy like on stream all the time where, for example, let's say like I buy BTBT at $10 or whatever, right? And right. then they push it to eleven dollars. Well, if I'm not sure if it's gonna keep going or whatever it's gonna do, like something something that I do, like if I'm if I'm happy, like losing like the, the gains. Sometimes I just set a stop loss right at ten dollars, and if it goes to twelve dollars, okay, now I'm happy because well, I'm not gonna go right in that position. I can move my stop loss to like ten fifty or whatever, let, let ten ninety nine, right? If it keeps going, okay, well, keep going because I don't know where it's gonna go to, and then I just keep moving my stop loss, right? Eventually, it's gonna kick me out, but again, that just gives me like room to play with, right? So. Instead right. of like yeah, trying to catch the top and trying to catch the, the bottom. So. Exactly, which is the thing that kills me all the time. I, yeah. I need to be more disciplined about using my stop losses. Yep. Every time I do it, it mm -hmm. works out in my favor. Mm -hmm. But I just, I don't know. I I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I just play it yep. by ear. I just like, the problem is also when you're doing a broadcast, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes that takes oh. you away from your game. Yep. And so I'll be looking at some, somebody say, oh, look at uh, Jumia. And I'm like, oh, okay, uh, ticker symbol J. Meanwhile, my stock is running and I'm I'm missing the gains. It, it, yep. And I'll look back at it and I'm like, oh, I know. <laughs> it came and went. Yep. It, I had my profit and it came and went that quick. Yep. So, yep. No, that's cost All me right. a few times. It's, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard to stream and trade at the same time, but it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the game though it's all in good fun man yes it is absolutely yeah no i really uh really enjoy it it's been uh yeah it's yeah it's <laughs> it really is enjoy it. It. yeah do Just, you want yeah. to um is this going to be you know along with the trading and the streaming is this going to be what you do like is it have you found your calling have you found your career man i think so, <laughs> I I hope think, so. Yeah, all right cool i hope so <laughs> 
I'd like to see. <laughs> I, I, so honest, I, yeah. I, I want to be doing interviews like this for you know the next 10, 20 yeah. years or until they invent someone bet something better than YouTube. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's funny you ask that because again, for me, like it's always like you know, like I've been doing this like since like high school or whatever, right? So there's there's been like like there's always been something else, right? A job that you go to, right? But then come back to trading, and then it's a new job, and then it's it's school, and then it's always like trading's always been there. It just seems like the thing that's always been like at that it's always a thing that I always come back to. You, so why not? <laughs> Why I watch uh, I watch that guy Gary V. Uh, mm -hmm. He's like one of those mo motivational guys on uh, Instagram. And the mm -hmm. thing he stresses all the time is like, would you rather be making a lot of money but unhappy in what you do, or mm -hmm. making a living and yeah. love what you do? Exactly. And every time I hear, you know, things like that, I'm just like, no, I want to do, I want to do what I love. I want to yeah. do what I love. Like straight yeah. up, it's. So much better, so much easier, less stress. So I can tell you guys love what you do over there. Well, we do. <laughs> no, it's yeah. No, that's a, that's a very good point too. Like just just watching like twenty twenty like twenty 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 one. Like we just I don't know. We've lost a, like a lot of people to like COVID and just things like this. So I mean, you never know. You honestly never know. So why not if you can? Like if you can do something you enjoy, why not? Right. So because you never know. You honestly just never know. Right. It's, yeah. You have to. Yeah. Just. You know keep it going and then yeah just like you said this last year taught us yeah. so much yeah. about you know opportunities and and you know don't don't just sleep don't sit back man you know like yeah. jump on these opportunities take you know don't take anything for granted exactly <laughs> you know moving exactly. forward exactly okay where, where do you where do you live by the way i am in portland oregon right now but yeah. i'm originally from los angeles okay. how about you uh, I, like I, I was born and grew up in Cameroon, West Africa, but yeah. I oh, okay. Canada. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought I detected a bit of an accent That's there. A, yeah, I was indeed. I was thinking more like Corpus Christi, Texas, or something, but <laughs> no. <laughs> Cameroon, hey, yes. they got a good soccer team. I did you well? They did at least. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah, they did. <laughs> six yeah. years ago, they were really good. Yeah, six years ago, yeah, yeah. yeah soccer is one of my one of my favorite uh, pastime things. One of my yeah. I'm trying to get into it. Yeah. I'm trying to be a good American and yeah. get into it. Uh, yeah. You know, unfortunately out here, it's not, you know, it's not a front runner in sports, but every four years, you know, when the world cups around, I am a hundred percent into it, <laughs> but I'm trying to like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to fill in the gap, you know, in, in those other four years, I'm trying to become more of a fan, you know? When is, when is it? The world cup is next year, 20 next year. Is it next year? Yeah. Is it? I think so. I think so. Yeah, so, Cutter. Yeah, yeah. I think so. So, so yeah, I, I always, I always look forward to that. I actually love watching soccer, you know. So like, I actually love, I love sports. But there's something about watching soccer on a big screen TV when the sound is going, you could hear all the set, all the crowd noises, and the the field is so beautiful, and there's so much going on in colors. Like, I love watching a soccer game. <laughs> It's just my uh, my fellow uh, Americans don't really see. Yeah. <laughs> <They're> like, Change the channel, man. <laughs> Put on football. <laughs> no, I really enjoy it too. It's funny because I've been playing like my whole life. Like, I don't know, like I played almost like before streaming started. I played almost every single day of the week. Yeah. Like, just competitively, like practices, games, and stuff like that. But I've only been to like one game. It's uh, I need to I need to do yeah. I, I, yeah. Like I went to the women's uh, the women's World Cup. Uh, oh, okay. A few years ago, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a uh, yeah. Hey, those girls, man, they're good. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we have a good Canadian team too. Our uh, website, we have a good Canadian team, so it's easy to cheer for them. <laughs> My ex girlfriend was actually a uh, soccer player, and so mm -hmm. that was kind of her thing. Mm -hmm. Is whenever we were just hanging out at night, we yeah. would just go across the street to the park and just kick around a soccer ball. Like I, yeah. I really do enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's time will come in America. It, it's time will come. I think so. I think so. Yeah, you guys are getting a whole bunch of uh, uh like like teams, right? Every state it seems to have their own. Every city now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really putting it together, and and a lot of them are really cool. Like I haven't yeah. been to one personally, mm -hmm. but I had friends in LA who would go to the LAFC games mm -hmm. all the time, and they absolutely loved it. It was just like this major party going on out there. So yeah, I'm yeah. definitely gonna get down with that. Absolutely. Hey, Absolutely. I was wondering, how many people work on your channel? Is it just you or? It's like for, for the most part, it's just me. But then I have like a whole bunch of guests, right? That people that just help and things like that. Yeah. 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 Man, it's tough. It's tough yeah. putting it all together by <laughs> it yourself, is. man. 
we have a whole team over here i don't know what we would do without him <laughs> yeah i know it's it's tough especially like initially when doge was pumping like i'd have to do like two like eight hour streams a day like morning and then night as well that was that was very hard it just, yeah but it like i have some amazing people that just come in and as guests and help and things like that so yeah you do a cool thing on your channel i think it's absolutely yeah. genius and honestly like <laughs> If I if I could, I'd steal the idea. But I, okay. but I but I love the fact that you do the hangouts. Yeah, you know it. It'll yeah. just say like a Doge hangout, yeah. AMC hangout. Yeah. And so if somebody is out there and say it's like off market hours, but I get mm -hmm. that yeah. there's some there was some times where I'm just like, man, I just want to go somewhere and talk about AMC. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I just want to hang out with some other people who are holding AMC, and I just want to yeah. talk about AMC all night. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was a great idea. And then when I do pop in there, it's just like I could see that positive community and it doesn't have to be market talk. It's just like, yeah. hey, we're all in this together. Like, let's just hang out. And yeah. I, I think that's really cool that you've given people a place to yeah. hang out. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know, it's, like it's amazing, honestly, as much as yeah, no, I, I like I really enjoy these guys very much. It's it's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's something else. Yeah. It's it's something else. It's a really cool community and, and yeah. the kind of yeah. communities that we've all put together around here. Exactly. I'm, exactly. I'm looking forward to the future. You know, we just we just got 20K uh, yeah. two days I, yeah, ago. Yeah, congrats, by the way. Congrats on 20K. That's oh, amazing. Man, <laughs> how, what long, it, how long did it how long did it take? Um, no, that didn't well, matter, but yeah, we had 4,000 in. I want to say the end of March, we had about 4,000. So we've, oh, that's you know, had a yeah. lot of gains. We got a yeah. little, little, some gains there. Yeah, that's amazing. Do you guys, uh, do you guys ever do any celebration, celebratory stuff when you guys reach these milestones? Uh, not really. We do giveaways. So we've done oh, like okay. Dogecoin giveaways, like merch giveaways, just like people, just to say thank you. But yeah. not like, a, not like a team thing, no. Okay. We, we might have to. We might have to. Um, I know people are talking about Vegas, so we will see what happens there. We hear that all the time where yeah. people are like, okay, let's do, like, let's rent the AMC theater in Vegas and we'll all just go down there and raid it and, and have a big bulldog yeah. party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's amazing. Honestly, yeah, the growth for a lot of YouTube channels this year has been quite cool. Like, usually it takes you a long time. I think for me, like, the goal, because we started in, like, I started, like, in September. Mm -hmm. September or whatever. Uh, the goal for this year was like, okay, like December, okay, sure. Let's try and get to like 10K subscribers or whatever. Yeah, it's just uh, crushed that number there. So yeah, it's been pretty amazing. Yeah, I noticed that you guys had like amazing growth because when I go on the channel and you could see the posts, like a community post, there was like one post where you guys were like, hey, we got 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> and then like two months later, it's like, <laughs> it's like blew through those numbers. But it's awesome because this is like the perfect time for uh, uh, young channels like ours to grow because the retail trader movement is just on fire right now and it's not going anywhere. Yep, exactly. And this is yep. the new this is the new stock market. I tell people all the time, there's still a traditional stock market out there mm. where people are buying and selling and holding and, and there's still that going on. But yep. there's the new uh, retail trader stock market, the meme stock market. Yep. Um that needs to really be people need to take notice. I like I like Charles Payne because he yeah. really does like <laughs> uh, focus on the ape community and the meme yeah. stock traders, and he 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 gives us a voice, which is cool. Yeah. Not yeah. a lot of the not not a lot of others are out there supporting the community, no. but they're gonna have oh, to no. come around. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Uh, I, like, yeah. I, like, I like Charles. <laughs> oh, we love Charles. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a frame picture of Charles somewhere uh, yeah. on, in my house somewhere, just like a, a yeah. so like. I have like a little shrine to Charles Payne. Yeah, yeah. No, eventually, is... eventually, like when, like when it comes to the market again, like a lot of these big name people love like to be part of the the retail movement, right? At least maybe not not initially, but people love to be part of the momentum, right? It's the same reason why, like you see, like uh, what is it called? What is the name of your your your, your beef jerky company in the states? Oh, um, uh, Slim Jim. Is that yeah, the Slim one? Jim? Right? <laughs> Slim Jim doesn't have anything to do with Doge, but they're absolutely like the biggest Doge fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like ads, right? <laughs> I went everywhere oh. searching for those, by the way. Like, I went yeah. everywhere around my neighborhood. I was like, I, I do you have the, the conversations nope. I had with gas station people where I was <laughs> like, I just want a box of Slim Jims. No, yep. it has to have a dog on it. It has a yep. dog called Do and they didn't understand what nope. I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no so eventually just like all these companies are like riding the doge train i feel like eventually like all these uh 
and then people are going to start jumping on like some of these like retail meme stocks or whatever right they're going to come around <laughs> right yeah i mean I, it's only a matter of time before you exactly. know the the la rams are playing in the robin hood stadium or something you know what i'm saying yeah. like <laughs> from in a <the> stadium <laughs> i and I, I honestly i mean i the the way i see it going because this is really early in the retail trader movement the meme stock mm -hmm. movement you know really we're only seeing kind of the first year you know this is like the rookie year of this kind of movement yep. Uh, we're already seeing, you know, on Charles Payne, we're already seeing the Trey, the Matt, you know, uh, Keenan Grace's yeah. gracing, you know, Fox business, you know, Fox <laughs> YouTubers are now on Fox business. Yep. And I mean, I don't want to, I, I don't, I don't want to gas anybody up uh, or, or anything like that. But I think that, you know, in five to 10 years, we're going to see those guys have full-time jobs on, on some of these networks. And I mean, and, and. Likewise, guys like you, I you know, know, we're, I think, uh, I think a lot of us are going to transcend uh, the YouTube and be on actual net. I mean, we're the, we're the, we're the rookie class of the voices of, of, of the retail trader movement. It's not going anywhere. Agreed. It's only going to get bigger and better. I agree. Just have to, for the, the retail investors, we just have to be careful not to end up uh, holding the bag, right? Because again, a lot of these plays are very, like very ruthless. If yeah. you formed into AMC at seventy-two dollars. Well, guess what? Next, a few a month later, you're sitting at thirty dollars, right? So you just have to be very smart, like smart with it, like the way you play it. So, right. Don't sell for a loss because they are going to win. The other side is going to win. That's what they want when they make those prices. When they manipulate the prices down like that, they want yep. you to sell. Yep. They want yep. you to be afraid. Yep. On it, like that's uh, like I was saying this in the channel not too long ago. I was like, okay, like where do you guys think again? Like. Because I always ask this question on, on, on stream, like, where do you guys think EMC is going to close at today? I was getting some pretty low numbers, right? I was getting some pretty low numbers, and I was like, okay, man, this is pretty exciting. Why? Because maybe they've actually changed your psychology to thinking, okay, we're not going to squeeze anymore, and maybe that's all we need for a turnaround here, right? When you think it's not going to happen, that's when it happens, right? So, right. Yeah. They're trying and it really to, does. Like, yeah, exactly. It really does work that way. Uh, psychologically, whenever I feel like I'm at the, the end of my rope, Yep. and I'm about to sell, I always hold on for like two more days. Mm -hmm. It always turns around. It always turns around, whether it's AMC or any other stock that I'm holding. I just feel like whenever I'm at my breaking point, yep. you know, the hedge funds and everybody, they have psychologists and people working around the clock to figure out yep. to get into the mind of a trader. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like they have the yep. money to do that. So they know the moment, they know when everybody is selling their stock out of fear and they capitalize on it, you know? That's exactly. Game. Yeah. I don't know if you've used like the market psychology chart. There's a chart way like I would show on the stream that yeah. just the market psychology where you go from like believe, disbelief to believe, to, like hope to thrill to euphoria to and then we crash back to the bottom, right? So we're right. always going through like all these cycles and then over and over. So it's yeah. super smart because when I watch your stream and I mm -hmm. see something running up, you let your audience know, okay, guys. Yeah. We're at euphoria. Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't calm down because we are at euphoria and you flash the chart on the screen. I don't know yeah. if anybody out, else out there has seen it, but you'll flash yeah. the chart on the screen and yeah. you could see you, you, you could see exactly where you are psychologically <laughs> on the chart. And yeah. actually, that stopped me recently from hitting the button on yeah, something because okay. I was like, oh, I got to jump in here. Got to jump in here. And then yeah. I remembered the chart. I was like, oh, wait, yeah. Yeah. I'm at euphoria. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> I waited a half hour, 45 minutes. It dipped, yeah. bought the dip, went up, yeah. sold, nice. and I was able to make profit. Oh, uh, thanks to you, my right. friend. You're welcome. <laughs> and that psychology chart. Yep. Uh, if anybody out there hasn't seen it, uh, maybe we could get uh, a copy of that sometime and so I could okay. show these guys. But yeah, it's, it's definitely something that you I've seen on your channel a few times. Mm -hmm. Very, very intelligent to show yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. You got to think about all angles, though, you know, like yep, going exactly. into this. You know, these guys, hedge funds and, and the traditional stock market, they've been doing this for, oh, yeah. you know, 100 years. Yep. They know all the tricks in the book. Exactly. So we have to, you know, it's almost like we're, we're like a little militia of retail <laughs> traders trying to take on this huge army of, of hedge funds. We yep. need to use tricks and tactics and things, you know, yep. like, like guerrilla warfare. You know, we need exactly. to get in there and figure out the ways that <laughs> we could manipulate the system that they're doing. And, of course, they're going to yep. shut us down like exactly. they always do. Yep. They're like, no, no, that's not fair. Uh, we need yep. to change the rules on them. Yep. We need to, we need to, we need to, we need to hard trading on Robinhood or whatever we need to do. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then they yeah, start shutting the channels you, down. And, and... We need to protect you. From, how do you, uh, from how do you feel about when you, uh, how do you feel about when you hear or see, you know, other YouTubers getting shut down for, 
you know, obviously not breaking rules. They're just getting shut down. And how do you feel I, about that? I honestly don't know because it's it's so hard for us to like when you when you see somebody else getting shut down for almost the same things you're you're doing. It's it's right. hard to like to, to on the same platform uh, critique the same platform, right? So it's like I'm always trying not to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to say anything about uh, anything negative about YouTube, you know. But it's yeah, it's a, uh, it's it's tough to see, right? Just like uh, just like Matt getting shut down, or yeah. But again, we never know what the reason, what the reasons for these things right. are, though, right? So according to YouTube, they're saying it's because like you know those spams that you get in the comments of your videos where they're like, oh, like, send me this message on WhatsApp, right? And I, so according to YouTube, that's the issue, right? So I'm not sure if that's the real issue or if. The real issue is because these guys are actually uh, creating something special here, right? So I don't know. If, right. I don't know what the reason is. So I'm not gonna speculate. <laughs> right, right, right. No, it definitely is. It, it's definitely suspicious. But yep. of course, we can't talk about. You know, it's it's our <laughs> boss. You know, pretty much. <laughs> yep. So hey, you know, I love my company. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you love your company. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> As oh, as yeah, an exactly. as an employee of this uh, YouTube phenomenon YouTube, yeah. thing here, exactly. But yeah. I definitely I definitely think that you know what we have what we have going on here, like what your channel has going on here. Uh, the potential mm -hmm. is, if I could invest in your company, I would, sir. <laughs> you know, oh, if I could, I, I don't yeah. I don't long hold anything, but if I could if I could buy some uh, hot trades and just keep yeah. it there in my portfolio and just wait a good five <laughs> ten years, like I said, I think uh, we're we're gonna be seeing. You, you know, you're a smart young man, good looking young man. I think we'll see you right there on uh, CNBC or your choice of channel, Fox Business. You know, oh, thank you, thank you. It's yeah. definitely in the in the cards for us, man. Yeah, hopefully, 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 hopefully. Yeah, no. It's a uh, honestly, I like. I really enjoy doing this. So it's 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 tough at times. It's just not tough. It's just um, it, it's exhausting because it's it, like you're going and going and going. But yeah. I really enjoy it. So yeah, <laughs> it definitely is exhausting. Uh, Chris Rock said one time, "When you have a job, there's too much time. When you have yep. a job, there's too yep. much time. You look at the clock, the the time isn't moving. Yep. But when you have a career, yeah, there's not enough time in the day. Yeah." Yeah. And I've realized that when I used to, I used to work in a, a, a restaurant, mm -hmm. the days drug on and on. Mm -hmm. But ever yeah. since I've been doing this, I get off the mic, you know, six, seven hours, and I'm immediately back writing and doing things for the, for the next day, doing yeah. more research. I never stop. Yeah. I stay up all night. <laughs> you know, yeah. people are always like, man, you got to sleep. You got to sleep. I'm like, but I love this. I love yeah. this. Like I'm working yeah. towards a goal here. I know. But I know. We definitely got to rest the, every now and then. Not the healthiest thing, but yeah, no, I know we go and go and go and go. So. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the times where like I'm streaming and I can feel like my, like, you know, like your fingers are shaking because you haven't, you haven't had breakfast or lunch or dinner all day. And it's like, same okay, thing. But... <laughs> I've been sitting here, like my sister made me some bacon. She yeah. brought me a plate of bacon. <laughs> nice. I got these slices of bacon, been sitting here yeah. for like an hour now. <laughs> I've just been waiting to eat. I know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we sit down all day. That's why I, I've definitely gotten better about taking breaks. I used mm -hmm. to just marathon it. I yep. used to do like eight hours straight, not taking yep. a break. And now, now I definitely take my breaks, walk yep. around. Even when I don't feel like it, I turn yep. off the turn off the mic for a second, walk around, yep. stretch out, eat. Yep. Um, you got to take care of yourself. Invest in yourself yep, first. I <laughs> yeah, I know. You, we have to. We have. To. I like. I need to try. I know people keep telling me it's funny because I ran into a friend the other day uh yeah last week at the at, at the superstore i uh, just at, at the shop, shopping center whatever he's like man what happened i saw you like a month ago and it seems like you lost <laughs> so skinny super <laughs> chat <laughs> it's, yeah. so uh, we always we always ask the question and I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I'm wondering. Everybody wants to know. How do you feel about an Apple Austin Pizza? Uh, <laughs> I know it's the big Super chat. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> is that a bad thing? Or it's like I haven't had a whole lot of... Oh, you know, it's like... Super chat. Uh, the super chat noises just came back on. Can we shut that down? It's like killing my killing my headphones, guys. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we got to turn those uh, super chat noises off, guys. 
I thought that was off. That's way <laughs> too loud. Um, yeah, you know, they just kind of turned me out on pineapple pizza. Mm -hmm. I hated it my whole life. I thought I hated it. And they kept asking me, asking me, asking me about it. Everybody kept talking about it, kept bringing it up in the conversation. So one mm -hmm. day I broke down, I ordered one. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I'm not gonna lie. I, it, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. It was really good. Yep. It was yep. really delicious. So, <laughs> no, so I'm, yeah. I'm on that team now. Okay, good. Yeah. It's it's. I don't know. I don't know why people hate pineapple pizza, but uh, I don't know. It's just, just, just. I don't know. Maybe it's just the culture for me, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I just. I'm one of the people. I don't like. Like I like my food either like savory and salty, or yeah. I like something sweet. You know, yeah. I don't like them mixed together, but I okay, will okay. I will admit they, they got me on pineapple, that pineapple pizza yeah? thing. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you no, uh just... are you are you streaming some more today? Uh it's, yeah, yeah. When, whenever this is over, I'm going right back to streaming. <laughs> oh, okay, right on, right on. All right. Well, I won't keep you too long. I, I know oh, uh, Trader Lunch is coming to an end here. Okay. Um I we I, I haven't been watching the market this entire time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh I don't see anything really moving here. Uh do you see TCAT today? TKAT? TCAT? Oh, yeah, TCAT. Yeah, we talked about TCAT yesterday. It's funny because we were looking for that 820, like 820 confirmation level. Never uh -huh. quite got there. And then today we finally broke above that level. And yeah, it's pumping. So some of the members are holding TCAT. So that's exciting for them. Yeah. How do you feel about some of these meme stocks? You know, we've seen, we saw them, you know, months ago, TCAT, Dolphin. Yeah. Um, you know, these NFT kind of plays. Oh, yeah, NFTs, yeah. But yeah, where do, you, I, where do you sit on those? Are they too hyped or do you think this could be the type, time to kind of get into them? I, I honestly don't know because, again, it's funny because I did a video on like TCAT and Dolphin a few months ago because uh -huh. that's the first time when TCAT ran from like, I don't know, from like $6, $10 all the way to 70 something dollars. I was right. like, man, like what's going on? It's just an NFT. Like how is right. this thing pumping? But again, it's just a combination like FOMO, like something new and like low float, right? So that's super exciting. But again, in terms of like what I think about it, I think people just need to be super careful. Like you, you don't want to end up holding a bag on these names because if you look at the chart, for example, on TCAD, like just take a look at the daily chart. It's always like bump and dump, pump right. and dump, like $20 back to $6, back to $5, right? To so $70, back to $6. Same thing on Dolphin, right? So you just want to make sure you're super, super careful because like they're going up and down, up and down, up and down. So yeah, again, they're amazing. You can make some solid gains on these plays, right? When they're sitting at the bottom there. Yeah. And yeah, so. You got to find again, the lows. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So. Because I know, again, like the last time TCAD ran, it had the NFT news, but this time there's nothing there, right? So it's just running because it's like, like just shorted and it's just been sitting at the bottom there for some time and it's just gaining momentum now. So right. yeah, TCAD is, yeah, you want to be very careful. Yeah. There's What's almost TCAD like sitting at now? Uh, see, last, I saw, last I saw it at 12.01 or it hit 12.01. I don't know if it came back down. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, again, what? that's where this is where like I use that same strategy, right? For example, like like I buy something and I just put a stop loss. If it keeps going and then let it go. But if it decides to drop, it is what it is. So yeah. What are your um what tools do you use for your research? Are there are, is there any uh, certain tools, charts, websites? Um, I use uh, I use Benzinga quite a bit just because okay. again this, these guys are like very like pretty quick when it comes to news and then yeah. like in, like news uh, you can you can find like it's very like I don't know if people understand it's like whatever you're interested in it's very easy to find the news right just just Google the name or whatever you need to do go over on Twitter right again you're gonna find a community of people talk about AMC TCAT or whatever right stock tweets is another one even though like stock tweets for example doesn't have like it's just like a whole bunch of people saying we're going to the moon without any <laughs> research but again like you can find some gold like on some of these sites right just just use google like google is pretty easy to use and then i for my charting i use trading view so i don't trading know if you've view. used trading view before okay okay yeah, i trading use weeble, is, weeble? for okay, the most yeah. part okay okay i know weeble has some pretty good charts like really really good charts so yeah yeah i like good. i like weeble for the most part that's what we use but yeah. i'm gonna write that down trading view yeah trading i take view. I, I take notes yeah, I think <laughs> If somebody yeah. else is using something that works, I like to I, I like to try to use it yeah. as well. Yeah. No, I like Trading View just because again, like their whole um, you know how sometimes, for example, you're watching a ticker. It's, it, they, this is true for crypto, right? Where you're watching on Robinhood and the price is completely different, or it's just a uh, like I don't know. Robinhood seems like I don't know the times where you get like one random spike on a candle, but nothing's actually happened. Almost like they're trying to bait you to do something. Something. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Right. 
I'm like, so Robin Hood, like, why are you trying to manipulate me into buying exactly. this stock right now? Why do you want me to buy this stock, Robin Hood? Yeah, yeah. So that, that's why I like trading view too. You just, it just, just charts, just simply charts. And then you can also have like your scanners and things like that. And it, it and the, yeah, the basic version is free. So, yeah. But you okay. know, we stream, so we need, we need some more expensive stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're all, we're all starting out here. You know, I, I imagine like we always talk about where are we going to be at? Where are we going to be at mm -hmm. a year from now? Where are we going to be at mm -hmm. a year from now? You know, mm -hmm. what kind of equipment are we going to have? What, you know, so it, it's, Mm -hmm. it's uh it's fun to think about where we're all gonna be you know we're yeah. all, I, I guarantee you're gonna have top-notch equipment anytime now you know we're, we're all gonna be killing it working together and uh you know showing up on each other's uh channels and uh yeah. you know it's a love fest out here man no i no I, honestly like i really appreciate you guys i didn't think like this stuff like this was possible you know like it's just like co collaborating between like youtube channels that are doing the exact same thing yeah but this is amazing so I, like i really thank you guys very much for reaching out because now like this is like my other uh, my other hangout now right it's straight just... up man and yeah. uh props to bulldog for putting this uh stuff together you know yeah. he's really uh reaching out to a lot of other channels and a lot mm -hmm. of other people and and trying to include everybody and uh i think at, at the end of the day it makes the community stronger exactly. you know we're gonna be over you know we're gonna be over there watching your channel you guys will yeah. be over here watching our channel it's it's, yeah. it's just all love if we're not on well <laughs> if we're not yeah. on we're always on <laughs> yeah. but you know <laughs> it, 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 we're we promote other channels we're, yeah. we know that people aren't just going to keep their well they do keep their stuff because they want to earn the coins yep. but you know we know that people go out and watch other channels i watch other channels you know as soon yep. as i get off i have a list of people that i watch i watch my trade videos i watch my matt mm -hmm. i watch my keenan every yep. single day i go in in the morning i watch you know different live broadcasts and and just mm -hmm. jump around yep. you can't just get all your information from one source you know yep. i mean you, yep. you just can't it's not yep. smart so yep. exactly <clears throat> that's why like again like, that's why streaming is so special because uh, they, there's a lot of stuff that i don't know right and then there's someone in the channel saying oh my like watch this stuff because the short interest is this and this and this or i've looked at this and found this like that's why like the community is so special so yeah I, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah there's so many winning trades that have been brought to my attention just in the chat alone yeah where people exactly. have just mentioned a random ticker and i look yeah. it up and i'm like oh, oh yeah. <laughs> wow how did i not yeah. how did i not know yeah. about this thing you yep. know, and then, you yep, know, exactly. our new thing these days, for some reason, is we find tickers with people's names. Mm -hmm. And so like uh, Nanovironics, yep. there's someone in our community named Naomi, Naomi Valdez, N-A-O-V. Oh, wow. okay. And okay. so we're like, hey, this has this has your name on it. We invested yep. in it. Boom. Yep. Nanovi and Nanovironics blew up. Um, yep. <laughs> so we've been looking. That's that's our new thing these days uh, yep. is, is trying to find people's names. <laughs> yeah oh wow that's cool yeah it's fun it's fun it's, it's your play it's your stock so here you go exactly that's yeah we gotta invest in we always say invest in yourself yep. where here's a ticker with your yep. name all over it yep <laughs> yeah no that's special yeah no you guys are you guys are special Bring, bringing bringing all this stuff together yeah it's it's amazing i appreciate you man i i appreciate the work you guys do over there and i appreciate you coming in here and hanging out with us man it's really cool <laughs> i appreciate you man yeah. uh it's the end of trader lunch so i figure we could probably just wrap it up and uh okay, i'm gonna good. take a little break Okay. and go back to my channel and uh okay and uh, you're gonna you're gonna go back to your channel and uh yes do your thing. <laughs> how much how much longer are you gonna stay on for the day uh so the market closes so yeah three hours oh okay you, you're not gonna go into after hours <laughs> no no it's All no right, we yeah. started streaming uh, it's been it's been like six hours already so okay oh yeah, yeah. you guys start earlier than us yeah, yeah. yeah you guys <laughs> or not earlier but you start earlier than me yeah okay <laughs> i had to sleep in yeah all yeah. right man well uh i'm gonna take off man i appreciate you so much for coming on with us thank you very much uh, i will definitely you'll see my name in your chat i'll when i super chat you i'll let you okay. know i'm there <laughs> i'm gonna spend some time when i get up on your on your channel as well thank you very much hey it's all love man thank you so much blaze we love yeah, you thank man you. thank you Westside. Well, ladies well and gentlemen let's go <laughs> Thank no you, guys man. again there, 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 there are a lot of people in your community people like caesar uh can't remember all the names but there's so many people that, that just show up on like all, on our stream yeah you know, very supportive so like no like you guys are amazing thank you very much again thank you thank you awesome man <laughs> yeah yeah all right have a have a good take a take a break please take care of yourself yeah, I'm, gonna, get some, <laughs> I'm gonna get another I'm, I'm gonna eat this bacon right here okay, sounds good. <laughs> have a have a good afternoon thank you so much blaze okay. you have a good one bye, bye guys I'll see you around, thank bud. you very much for having me thank you bye Awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, show some love in the chat for the